Hey everyone, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can make your own customized Twitch panels with just a web browser. Let's get right into it. So after I released my free Twitch panels, I received a lot of requests for different icons, colors, and text for different panels. Now, rather than making them all one by one per request, I created a simple app that allows you to make your own. So to start, let's go to nerdodie.com and the direct link will be in the description below. And here you'll see a design for a Twitch panel. Below this are the options that you can change and customize for yourself. We can start with the left side color and we can even change the right side color and font color as well. Now with these color pickers, there's a lot of different ways to get the colors that you want. As you can see, I added a couple of options here on the left. You can move the slider here on the right and you can even use the input to help you get closer to that color that you want and then kind of adjust from there. Now, the panel text will control what the actual panels say. The icon dropdown will let you select different icons that I've added into the system. Now, I'll do my best to add any new requests that come in, but I should let you know that it's a lot easier for me now to add icons than before. So expect to see a lot more icons added on a regular basis. And if you have any additional requests for icons, make sure to leave them in the comments below. Moving on, we can see that the text slider controls how big your panel text is. And you can basically size this as big as the entire panel. Now, for most browsers, you should have your text centered vertically. However, there are some that don't, and mine was actually one of those. So I added a text vertical align slider in the case that you need to manually adjust the position of your text yourself. Or perhaps you just want it to be somewhere else. It's really up to you. Now, the last setting at the moment is add padding. If the setting is on yes, it will basically add empty space at the bottom of your panel, which is represented by this checkerboard here. Selecting no will remove the empty space at the bottom. I find that the padding is useful on images that will be used as links in our Twitch panels because by default, Twitch doesn't add any margin underneath it. So when you have a link in your Twitch panels and then text added underneath it, it just kind of presses up against it. And personally, I like to have a little bit of buffer zone or whatever so that those guys are separated. Anyways, I did add a nice little example of what each would look like in an image here below so that you can get an idea of what the heck I'm talking about. Anyways, once you're done designing your panels, all that you need to do now is just right click it and hit save image as. Name it what you like and that's it. You can make all the rest of your Twitch panels and then upload them to Twitch. I really hope you guys enjoy something like this. And if you do, please share this video or the post because I do plan on creating a lot of different small apps that help you guys generate graphics for yourself without needing something like Photoshop, GIMP, or other image editing software. And for those out there that always ask me if it's free to use or if you need to include a link back to my page to use them, the answer is yes, it's free to use. And no, you don't have to add a link to me. But if you'd like to, I did include a nerd or die icon here so that you can put it on your Twitch page and point it back at this video or even the post. Now, something like this does take me a bit more time compared to the other free resources that I've been releasing. So your support does mean a lot to me. And if you guys do find any bugs at all with this, please leave them in the comments or just tweet at me. Now, as always, if you guys like this video, please give it a like. And if you really liked it, make sure to subscribe for more from Nerd or Die. If you're interested, go ahead and check out my Patreon page that talks about making more stuff like this. But as always, thanks for watching.